Hi guys! It has been such a long time since I filmed a video. I think it's been a year, possibly even a year and a half. And I think the last time I made a video, I was pregnant. So since then, I had a baby and my son is about a year and a half and he is just my absolute joy. And I have been a stay-at-home mom during that time. And so I've just been soaking up all of the moments, all of the exhaustion, the fun times, the good times, the crazy times. And I really have just been in that mode. And even though I've still been wearing hair and wigs throughout the entire time, that really has just, being a mom has been my primary focus. So I am sorry that I have not been on here and I haven't really been making any content, but I still love hair. I still wear wigs all the time. Um, but today I just kind of wanted to give an update on some health issues I had because I did have another surgery a few months ago, a couple months ago, and it was pretty similar to some surgery that I had about two years ago, two and a half years ago. So it is hormonal related part of it is. So I just wanted to give you an update and let you know what was going on. So I want to backtrack real quick and um, just kind of tell you if you didn't know what happened five years ago. So when I turned 30, I decided to get off of birth control. I had been on it for about 13 years and I really just didn't always feel like myself. I knew there were some types of birth control I took that just really messed with me. And so I wanted to just get off. And when I did, that's when I kind of started to experience all these symptoms. At first it was just acne and then it was weight gain. And then there were cysts that were bursting all the time, like excruciatingly painful for the first couple years. And then the hair loss. But at first I didn't attribute the hair loss to uh, getting off birth control. I also was kind of switching careers at the same time and getting ready to move. And I, um, a big move for me. And so they thought it was telogen effluvium or just stress related. And then at some point later, that's when I went to the doctors when I had all these other symptoms and they thought it was from something hormonal from me getting off birth control. But I really didn't go to any other doctors for, um, for getting off birth control or for those types of issues or to really delve into the, the ex further reasons what was going on with my hair. I had just totally accepted that I loved fake hair and I loved toppers and I loved wigs and I was just willing to kind of live that life and didn't really need to know anything further. And I still feel that way. Um, but into 2020, so I did make a big move in 2020, two years after that. And I had surgery. I think I talked about this on my another video, but I had surgery at the end of 2020. And I started to have really bad pain kind of down in that lower ovarian region. And when I moved to this new town, um, I, saw, I had to go to the ER because it was so bad and I felt like it was pushing against other organs. So I had to go to the ER and they did a scan and they saw there was a mass and told me to go to my OBGYN. And I found a guy and he said that there was a mass, but that he did wasn't the one that really did the surgery for that. So he said to just wait it out and see if I was okay. But a few days later, the pain was so excruciating and I was able to get into a different OBGYN and thank God he was able to get me in. And the size of the tumor, it was a tumor on my, they thought it was on my ovary, like attached to it, but it had doubled to the size of a tennis ball in those few days. And so he said it needed to come out ASAP, told me I probably wouldn't be able to have kids. But whenever I did do the surgery, um, the next day, there was two of them. They were pretty large, but it was, thank God, not on my ovary. It was like right outside of it. And so they took those out and then I actually got pregnant within the next two months. So that was pretty crazy. A few months ago, probably about January, I started having like extreme fatigue and that, that actually did start at the end of last year for a couple months in 2022, but the fatigue was pretty extreme. And then I went to the emergency room in the beginning of February because I was having rectal bleeding. And again, that very similar pain kind of down in that ovarian region and a severe bloating that I had not ever really experienced and a couple other symptoms, difficulty breathing, and they really didn't do much um, this time in the ER and they um, advised me to go see my gastro and my OBGYN. So I went back to my OBGYN and they did an ultrasound and they did see something there, another mass, but they weren't totally sure. And they saw some stuff on my uterus, sorry, my hair, my wig hair, um, but they saw something there. And so um, he said to just like, let's wait a couple weeks. Like, let's just see, you know, 
um, what happens, but I went to the gastrologist and he actually ordered a colonoscopy and said I needed one. And that kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I did, I was scheduled for the colonoscopy. And then last minute, my son was tested for RSV and was not feeling well. And it just, I didn't have peace about it. And so I canceled it and I really wanted to get um, just the surgery down there on what I already knew was pretty confirmed that there was another mask there. So another thing about when I went to the OBGYN, sorry, um, I was on my period and there was a cyst near my ovary on one of them that was super large. And normally, you know, you have a cyst on your ovary whenever you're ovulating, which was a couple of weeks before your period. So this was abnormal because I was kind of in the middle-ish end of my period, but the cyst was so large and it just was not normal. And this did not change over the next couple of weeks. And I started to get some other weird gastro symptoms like gasping for air at night. And I wasn't sure what the heck was going on, but it actually was GERD related or gastroesophageal, like stomach acid coming back up and giving the sensation of my throat kind of swelling and closing. So that was a whole separate thing. But um, I got to a point where the pain was so uncomfortable down there that I demanded to have surgery. And I'm so glad I did because my um, doctor did the surgery and after he told me that my uterus was full of endometriosis, which was a shock to him because I had just had a baby, you know, a year and a half ago. And then also um, there were, it, well, there was endometriosis on the lower side, kind of close to the bladder and some other areas and some fibroid tumors and a big cyst near my ovary that was super large. So they took all of that out. So I feel much better and it really was a relief to get all of that out. Um, going forward, I really don't wanna to have to have surgery every two years for these sort of things. So I'm really trying to manage some of that with diet and lifestyle changes. So I completely gave up caffeine because that can have effect on your estrogen. Um, and some, a lot of the sugar and carbs, I was really trying to cut back on processed foods. And that's just something that I'm working on, but the caffeine is completely gone which does make me sad because I do love a sweet tea, but I can't have that anymore. And so, um, yeah, that's really what's been going on. So that I had surgery about almost two months ago. So I don't know if it's, you know, just a continuation of stuff that, you know, once I got off birth control, it was like five years ago, it was like all these things started to happen. So I don't know if all of that is linked, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not really sure where to go from here. He did suggest that I get back on birth control and I was like, no, but he told me that birth control nowadays is much lower dosage or they have some that are lower dosage than what I was on, you know, for the 13 years I was on it, but I still don't have a piece about it and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but, um, I, yeah, I don't know. So if you've had endometriosis, if you have any of those, um, sort of issues, like why don't put in the comments, like what you've done as a treatment, whether something with, you know, that your doctor's done or recommended or something you've found online that's helped you because I know so many women are affected by it. And especially like all these crazy hormonal issues, which I know some of them are tied into the hair loss issue. But anyway, all of that to say, um, I plan to be making more hair content and whenever I have the time and it may be a very minimal amount, it may be a lot, I really don't know. But this is one of the wigs that I have been wearing for the last, mm, oh gosh, like almost year. And so it is much darker than what I was wearing, but I really do like it. It's from Wigs by Tiffany and I did purchase this one. It's super long. It like doesn't even fit in the frame. And um, I'm going to be showing this wig in another video by itself, but I just wanted to catch up with you guys and tell you what's been going on health wise and just let you know that I'm still here and I'm okay, but I really miss you guys and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.